Welcome. What I've got for you today is something that, you know, has really helped me take control of my life. And I've, I've had some great feedback from people that I've shared this tip with. They, they've, they've really found some great success with it too. And shout out to my great friend Sydney Miller out right now in Italy. I don't know what she's doing, but she's having a lot of fun. You know, shout out to her. She's really inspired this tip today and I, I, hopefully you guys can implement this into your life because it's really going to help you out. So, what I'm going to teach you is about controlling your bookends. If you've ever felt like you're too stressed, you're, got, you're anxious in the day, and so much is going on, all hell is breaking loose, you don't know what to do, oh my god, a car accident, everything's going wrong, here's how you fix it. So every day you're going to be faced with a set of problems. It's just life. Deal with it. It's life. Problems. Pits and valleys. Valleys and pits, right? And you have to learn to work with it. So. To keep your sanity, what you're going to do is control the bookends. It doesn't matter what happens in the middle, just control how you start and finish, right? You're running a race, as long as you start strong and finish strong, it doesn't matter what happens in the middle. You won, you finished, you started, you finished, good, okay? So, when you wake up in the morning, I want you to wake up seven minutes early tomorrow. You wake up at eight, wake up at 7.53. In that seven minutes, I want you to reflect. What am I sending out to do today? What do I want to accomplish today? What are my goals today? Who do I want to help today? What do I want to do today? And in those seven minutes, when you figure that out, you just took control of your day. Now, when you're going through the day and all these things happen and everything goes wrong, when you come to the end of it, as long as you sit on those three goals, or as long as you sit on the goals you, what you set up to accomplish, you won. That's a good feeling. Just decide what you want to do each day and make sure you accomplish it. Unless you get into a car accident, or you know, you, you lose a book, or or you know, I don't know, something something bad happens. It's going to be stressful. But oh no, oh goodness, oh that, that that sucks. Hey, you said it what you went to do. Be proud of that. You'll feel a lot better. What I like to do is at my last end of the day, I like to read a book because your mind subconsciously continues to think as you fall asleep. So whatever you put in it before you go to sleep is what you think about. And if you want to grow, if you want to find more success in your life, find a book that helps you achieve what you want to achieve. Listen to people who have what you want and you'll get there. Simple. I like to read Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. It's a phenomenal book. You know, it really helps you think a little bit differently with a business mind. That's my thing. You know, I moved on to different books and uh, Napoleon Hill, uh, uh, John Maxwell, but you decide what works best for you. Read 10 pages a night, start in the morning with a goal, and I promise you, you're going to take control of your day. Have fun.